Greetings and salutations, my dear audience. This is Joe St. Egg Benedictus, just coming at you with a Bible review. And I'm accompanied here by uh, Sister Saint. Say hello, Sister Saint. Hello, Sister Saint. And um, <clears throat> we're going to review this Christian Standard Bible, Kids Bible. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, for kids. It has, no uh, way! <laughs> yes, it has a sportsy theme. I think it's for boys, stereotypically. Okay. I'm going to show you the back while I talk for a minute. Uh, I want to give a shout out to my pal Mike, to all the visionaries and mystics out there. Thank you for joining us. So uh, this Bible is a Bible we uh, are going to give out to our students for back to school. And um, I wasn't going to do a review because it's not like I want to like review every Bible that comes across my desk. I think that's really nerdy and like I don't want to exploit like Bibles that we buy just because it's a Bible I have to review it. But one of the things we uh, were looking at is Sister Saint and I were looking through this Bible is kind of how inappropriate it is. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So let's review it. First of all, what age do you think this is for, Sister Saint? Let's take a gander. I'm judging by the bulbs and the colors on the side and the fact that you have to read. Ten years old. Like fourth or fifth grade. All right, fourth oh, or fifth age. grade. Uh, grade. Yeah. All right, all right. Go ahead and take it out. Let's let's take a look. Well, we got to do it this way. All right. First of all, it has the uh, cool thing there. That's pretty cool. I think kids would like that. It has this like soft cover. Then it's the Holy Bible, Christian Standard Bible. But we're not here for that. We're here for uh, to get into some of the content. You ready? Okay. All right, first thing we have is how can the Bible help you? Uh, so if you're having problems or if you're sad or sick, so far so good. Tempted to lie. All right, then we have, uh, move your hand, oh, studying your Bible, uh, which is fine. You have the Bible book, the, the person, tells you how to use the Bible. All right. Bible skills, and one of the things that I really like about this Bible is it gives you like, these are like learning goals, so like your first learning goal is like, locate the two main parts of the Bible, Old and New Testament, pronounce the names of all the books of the Bible, whereas like, skill three is, uh, I can locate any verse in my Bible in a short time, so that's pretty cool, I think, it gives you little like goal markers, like, I'm going to go for like the 10 yard line, or 20 yard line, or the 30 yard line, I don't even know what that means. but then after that, gets a little weird. Take the test your Bible knowledge, for instance. Okay. Sister Saint. Here we go. Okay. First, let me get this focused. Okay. What color, what is the first color mentioned in the Bible? Genesis 1.30. Green, because it's the only color listed in the answer sheet key. Okay. What, who beat his talking donkey three times? Um, if you're a four, five, fourth, or fifth grader, do you really want to talk about beating your donkey four or three times? Like, that's like animal cruelty. All right, then it gets just weird from there. Number three, you ready? Who is the left-handed judge who stabbed the fat king? I mean, didn't these writers, like, think of, like, body shaming? I know the king was, like, an evil king. It's King Eglon. But, I mean, let's, let's think if you're, like, a chunky tyke. Right? And you're reading the Bible. <laughs> and you're reading the Bible, and you're reading along, and you're like, oh, who's the left handed judge who you know is the good guy who stabbed a fat king? Like, what do you think of that, Sister Saint? <laughs> Chunky time. I mean, if you're a fat kid, right? And you see the fat king in the Bible, and he's the one who gets stabbed. First of all, okay, let's break this question down. <laughs> Left-handed judge, okay? I was about to point that out. Just, just you know, get to the heart of all the kids who are left-handed <laughs> and um, make them feel, like, weird because they're now differentiated against right-handed. Who stabbed? Oh, what is this? Yeah. Like, this is like a Bible for, like, mafia kids. Like, <laughs> who beats, you know, how many times should you beat, beat a, a donkey? donkey. <laughs> Or like, how many horse heads should you leave in the bed? Or what left-handed judge, you know, oh yeah, lefty down the street, who stabbed? Like, 
what are you supposed to do? Like to a, f- a fourth or fifth grader, hey, hey, you know the guy who stabbed the other guy the other day? Stabbed the other guy. And not only that, lastly, a hey, <laughs> fat king. Like, hello, body shaming? I mean, <laughs> is that even politically correct? Like, fat king? Like, isn't it like obese king? Well, when did this or come out? Rotund? How do you see that? Well, mommy just bought these. Like, I mean, so. Is All right, we're not at the we're not at the copyright page. We're we're just making a point, okay. <clears throat> I'm just saying, seems a little inappropriate to me, okay. All right, let's just keep going. I'm we're not going to look at everything. Hand. By the way, it has. You know, oh, sorry, it has the um, the sewn the sewn here. I think it's pretty cool. All right, Christian Standard Bible, okay. How to do five time? It is. Oh, it's here. So this one is uh, 2019, okay. So pretty, pretty recent. This also has the 2K Denmark. Um, you're going to see how different this font is from the original Holman Standard Bible. All right, let's jump in. All right, so here's the law. It gives you the books of the law. Okay, let's go to the Genesis, for instance. Okay, Genesis. Okay, all right. We're, we're going to go back. Remember, people, this is a children's Bible. Books of the Bible, contents, okay? And then, if you're a fourth or fifth grader, you're going to flip the page to the introduction to the Christian Standard Bible, which talks about the translation philosophy of the CSB. Okay, so if you're optimal equivalency, I'm sure if you're a fourth or fifth grader, you're going to understand that. Now, this introduction is in all the Bible, so I get it. It's still weird to me. All right. So the Old Testament, no introduction. Nothing telling you what the book is about, right? Then it has that um, comfort print font, which I'm not a big fan of. The um, Christian Standard Bible has the uh, cross-references within the paragraphs, which I think is really interesting. All right. So there's nothing as far as, like, the um, introduction. There's no introduction. But they do have, every so often, these little, like, inserts. The books of the law. Okay, the books are separated in ten divisions. The first five books of the Bible are in a division called the Pentateuch. Now, if you're in fourth or fifth grade, you think you can read that word? You're in like going into twelfth grade. Can you read that word? I don't even. I already lost it. Oh, Pentateuch. Pentateuch. It's French. It's French. <laughs> it's French. So you're in 12th grade. You can't even read that word, okay? I could have read that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. So th- it gives these things. Nice colorful maps. Ooh, I like that. that. Everybody likes maps. Everybody likes maps. Books of poetry. Edgar Allan Poe. Job is a story of the man whom God, uh, uh, named Job, whom God tested. The book explores questions concerning, look at that. Is that a fourth grade word? Can you read that? I'm trying to find a really funny way to mispronounce it. Oh. So very igni- igni- <laughs> Yeah. And the problem of suffering. In the middle of suffering, Job cried to the Redeemer, and we now worship the great Redeemer, Jesus Christ. So there's there are two words that I would not consider fourth or fifth grade. Sovereignty and Redeemer. I mean, those are not fourth or fifth grade words. Redeemer's not that hard. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, you're right. The other thing is, like, can't you ask things like... You know, what are the three things that Paul talks about, like, you get with Christ, and, you know, it'd be like faith, hope, and love. But no, they go into stabbing kings and (laughs) weird things, man, weird things. All right, I'm going to have to edit some of this out. All right, Zephaniah tells you about that. All right. Okay, so that's that. All right, so what I did is I came into Sister Saint's room, and I looked at her Bibles, and I said, what's in here? So what's in this black case, Sister Saint? Children's, Children's Bible. Bible. So I said, okay, well, let me compare it. Oops. So I opened it up, and lo and behold, what is it? It is a... First of all, how can the Bible help you? Studying your Bible, same exact material, different format. Bible skills, level 1, 2, and 3. Test your knowledge. Look, same exact questions. Now, this Bible she received when she was, like, a baby or a kid. This is the... Holman Christian Standard Bible, same exact Bible, basically. This one came out in 2014, first printing. All right. But look at the questions, same exact questions. 
who was a left-handed judge who stabbed a fat ones? king. Um, sure, if you looked. Oh, yeah. What happened to the money that uh, the priests paid Judas? I mean, that's really weird. Like, why would you ask that in a kid's Bible? Hmm. Who fell out who, of the oh, window? Oh, yeah, who fell out of the window while Paul was preaching? preaching? Great. That's yeah, <laughs> weird. But look at the font, by the way. I'm, I'm not a big 2K Denmark font person. This one's a lot better. Okay. So, anyway, I turn to this one right here. This is an NIV study Bible by Zondervan, Zonder Kids. Now, I want to compare the difference between this one and this one. Ready for this? First of all, it has a nice presentation page. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to show you. The back of the Bible has... Okay. It has maps. But look what it has in the back. Okay, so after Revelation, it has a concordance. Now think, if you're in fourth or fifth grade, are you really going to know how to use a concordance? Right? Daily measures... You know, I didn't even know what a concordance was. Right, exactly. Okay, so let's compare with the NIV Zondervan study, uh, Young Women of Faith Bible. Z Zondervan always does it right. Okay, first of all, you get a nice presentation page that's colorful. Okay, you get all these cool questions that you get to fill out. All right, let's see here. Now this is uh, published in two thousand six. Okay. All right, gives you a nice table of contents, how to use this Bible. Okay, it does give you the NIV, like, introduction, but it's, like, really small font to show you how, you know, that you don't have to read it. But look at this. You get a nice introduction, a normal introduction. Who wrote this book? There is some debate about who wrote Genesis. However, many scholars believe Moses wrote it. Why was this book written? Genesis tells how, it tells how God created the universe and human beings. It also covers the special promises God made to Abraham. You see any big words like sovereignty or whatever? Then it gives you these little things on each page. Whereas this Bible has nothing for a long time until you get to a section. On this Bible, you have something on every page. And when you look at it, it's very easy to read. Except she lusted after him. Which can be, I guess, age inappropriate. But at least it's easy to read. If if I were there, so that's pretty cool. All right. So again, you have introductions. Um, the font is easy to read. This is this classic NIV print. Cool chapter numbers. We get in this. Just boring chapter numbers. Okay. But check out what you get in the back. Something kids can use. You ready? Here goes nothing. In the back, you get. Here, hold this open, Sister Saint. No, the other side. All right. In the back, you get you get these cool pages too, which is awesome. Weights and measures with a butterfly. <laughs> All right. I believe Jesus is coming soon. Okay. And something kids can use: a dictionary, not a concordance, a dictionary. Why? Because kids need to look up words and figure out what they are. And they're easy words, too. So when you compare apples to apples, no stabbing fat kings. They have dancing girls, little girls. No stabbing fat kings. No, uh, you know, jumping like jumping, falling out of windows and dying, you know, and death. <laughs> you know, no big three-syllable words, you know. Nice Bible introductions. So I think when it comes to a child Bible or a children's Bible, I think you just need to, like, stick with this. Now, this Sunday we are giving these to the kids. I'm not going to, like, change them or anything. They're, they're fine. It's just that I think that um, if you're going to buy it, you really need to prepare it, be prepared. Uh, how to explain to your child what it means to stab a fat king.